All right, the last like parent function type derivative we need to talk about is natural log. Um, the derivative of natural log ends up being one over x, and this one isn't quite as easy to see. Um, we do need to make sure we restrict our domain to only be x greater than zero because log doesn't exist for negative x values. Um, but let's see if we can kind of figure this out. So it does kind of make sense that here at one, I have a slope of about one, like that makes sense. And then as x gets bigger, my slopes kind of trend to zero. And over here, my slopes are going to infinity, like they're getting more and more positive in this direction. So if I were to try to graph what that looks like, I have really positive slopes, one, one, and then trends that go to zero. So it does make sense that the graph of the derivatives of natural log are one over x. Um, another thing just to know is if you do have log base b of x, its derivative is one over the number natural log of b times x. Because for natural log, the base is e, when you do one over the natural log of e and x, the natural log of e is one. So that's why we're just left with one over x, just so that you can have that kind of in your notes. All right, we just have one example here. Find the slope of the tangent line to this graph at x equals three. And what does this tell you about the graph at that point? Um, I wanna make sure we see in this that I have three times the natural log of x minus x. And so I need to figure out the derivative. So that's three times the derivative of natural log is one over x minus the derivative of x is one. I can imagine that's three over one. So this is going to become three over x minus one, and let's figure out what's going on, what's the slope of the tangent line when x equals three. Well, if I have a slope of zero, what does this tell you about the graph? I must have a horizontal tangent to f of x at x equals three, because I ended up having a slope at that x value that was zero.